All right, folks, we're going to press on. This next comedian coming to the stage, I've said this before, but she is probably my favorite person on this show. She probably is. I love her to death. She's one of my favorite people in the world. Start clapping right now for my friend, Miss Michaela Fagan. Let her hear it. You work too until you push them up. You know what? You hit it at the perfect height, so never mind. I resist. Yeah, that's right. I'm the favorite person in this room. Fuck all y'all. Hello. How are you doing? Okay, here, wait. Let's do this. Yeah. Okay. Oh, summer in the city, you guys. Today felt like fall, though. Today was good, but before the catcalling season, it's, has it passed us? Because I got catcalled a couple times, and, and they scared me every time, because I thought that they were hitting on me, but they were really just asking how tall I was. <laughs> I got that a lot. They're like, ooh, your body, I'm like, is amazing? They're like, it's so small. You're a compact little bitch. <laughs> I am, I'm small. We're like, damn, you're tiny. I'm like, oh. the second part, you know, it always ruined it, but it was fine. Uh, I just got an apartment in New York City. Yeah. Yes. Oh, thank you, it's hard. Um, but it's not my dream apartment because it's not above, next to, or inside a bakery. <laughs> I would have loved that. Could you imagine, like, you get to be really close friends with all the guys in the bakery. They come upstairs and like, oh, Michaela, you want the ugly rolls? We got a bunch of rolls, they look like shit, they taste delicious. Here, have the ugly rolls. <laughs> or they bring up like a three-tier wedding cake, they're like, the wedding's off, he died. <laughs> like, oh, that's so sad. <sighs> like, oh God, Paulie, we have so many spoons covered in custards, meringues, and icings. How are we gonna get them clean before we open tomorrow? <laughs> Send them upstairs. They'll probably have like a pulley system. I get the spoons. I'm like, lick, lick, lick. <laughs> be fucking great. No, I didn't get that. Um, I'm gay. What? She's wearing an old man shirt and boy shoes. What? I am. I didn't know it until I was like 18, though. It took me a long time, but I should have found out way earlier because my favorite toy was my Rosie O'Donnell Barbie doll. <laughs> Yeah, they have Rosie O'Donnell Barbie dolls. <laughs> she was wearing like a red pantsuit, and her right hand, she was holding a microphone, because she's a comedian, and then her left hand was like inside another Barbie. <laughs> That's fun. No, it wasn't. I'm just kidding. I put it like that. I cut a hole in a Barbie, I put it. <laughs> you gotta get inventive. Um, I also should have known I was gay, because around the age of 11, I started flirting with the idea of like being a nun. That sounded fun. I was like, oh, oh, hold on. I could live with hundreds of women in the castle? <laughs> Be a princess in the kingdom of our lord? <laughs> like, that sounds amazing. Also, there's too many of them for them each to have their own bathrooms. There's a group shower situation happening. I know it. I've th thought about Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Uh -huh. What else? What else? Oh, I always wanted to be in beauty pageants. Has anyone done beauty pageants? No? You know, like child beauty pageants? I, I missed out on that. Mom, why didn't you put me in child? My mom's here. Hi, Mom. Um, <laughs> why didn't you put me in child? You know, don't answer. I'm just talking to you because I wanted everyone to know my mom was here. Um, so supportive. child beauty pageants, uh, but my introduction, I think, like, would have sealed the deal. I would have got Ultimate Grand Supreme right away, because, like, <laughs> they would have been like, and now, little Miss Michaela Fagan, all right, she's got brown hair, brown eyes, and a gold heart. <laughs> Her two favorite things to do are rip worms in half and eat craft singles straight from their individual plastic packaging. Her record is 23 in a row. Wow, Michaela, that's a lot of cheese. Good job. Oh, she loves her parents, her cats, and maybe Jesus, but she's not sure yet. Oh, her favorite smells are gasoline and pork. <laughs> and when she grows up, she'd like to be a Radio City Rockette or Rich. This is little Miss Michaela. <laughs> it would have been fun. <laughs> you guys like singing in the shower? A little bit? Yeah, I know you do, roommate. My roommate's here. Hey, she's so supportive. 
Um, I love singing in the shower, but I also love having panic attacks in the shower. Um, I think it's a good place to do both at the same time, because you got to save water. So I'm like, all right, this one goes out to all the beautiful people who died in this apartment before I moved in. I don't want to close both eyes, even when I wash my face, cause I'm scared of you, and I know you're gonna murder me. <laughs> or when I'm shaving my legs, I'm like, don't cut yourself intentionally. It's only okay accidentally. You took an ibuprofen and the water is hot. That doesn't mean your blood won't clot. You've never had problems with clotting. <laughs> Or at the end, when you're like, all the girls know this one, you're like, the hair that fell out is a normal amount of hair. Sing along. This is a normal amount of hair. You don't have alopecia, you don't have lupus, and you never had chemo, because you don't have cancer. Holy shit. Maybe you do. There's really no way to know if you do. Thank you guys so much. My name is Michaela Green. No, no, keep it going for Michaela Fager. Let her hear it one more time.